Hey guys, this is Harjit here. I hope you're enjoying our Spark Stream series. Guys, I'm back with one more video. This video is going to be about how to integrate Kafka with Spark. In Spark Streaming, how you can read messages from Kafka topics. Uh, guys, one requirement for this video is that you should have Kafka installed on your system or on Databricks as I'm using. If you have not installed Kafka on Databricks, you can uh, watch the previous video that I have uh, shared. I have also put it in the uh, in uh, in the information tab. You know, I don't know info tab that you see on the left uh, topmost uh, corner of uh, this YouTube video. Let's not waste time. Uh, let us start with this. So uh, before we start, we need to install some of the dependencies that we need for Kafka Spark integration. If you go to Kafka uh, Spark integration guide from uh, Spark, it says that uh, this is the dependency that you need to install. Now, how can you install this dependency in, uh, in Databricks version? So you just need to click on clusters here. Click on the cluster that you have, then click on libraries tab and install new. I have already installed it, so that's why it is showing up to me. If you have not installed it, then you click on install new, click on Maven, and then search packages. Uh, you need to select Maven Central, then select say Spark Streaming. Kafka, just mention that and it will show you a lot of options. In my case, since I was using Spark 2.4 uh, version, uh, you know, this particular dependency made sense to me. I just click select on it and it started showing up here. Then I had restarted my cluster. Uh, so it, this dependency was added into my cluster. Now let us go back to our code before we start on coding part we have to import some statements so i have given the sample code in my github and the link is in the description of this video so i will prefer if you can just understand uh, what i am trying to do as part of this video and uh, try this code later then we need to set some properties so that uh, we can tell Spark that uh, where to find out Kafka. So bootstrap servers is localhost 9092. In your production environment or in your uh, company environment, uh, you know, uh, the host name can be different, but it's very high likely that port name will stay same. Sometimes the port name can also change, but usually it stays same. Uh, the host name uh, can be different. You need to mention the serializer, key serializer and value serializer. Uh, what will be uh, the key? How will uh, Kafka deserialize and serialize the message key and value? Then you do need to give it a group ID. Uh, so you can give any group ID. I have just given grp underscore ID. And uh, you need to tell that from where you want to read messages. You want to read the latest message or you want to read the message since the beginning. So I have just given it latest. And uh, I have also mentioned it auto commit. Then I am telling which is the topic which I need to read. My topic name is test. This topic we had created earlier in the previous video and we have posted some message in that topic. Then I am doing one more import. Then I am defining my streaming context. Then Kafka Spark provides me uh, APIs to connect with Kafka. I just need to say Kafka Utils dot create direct stream and then pass streaming context to it. And I'm pre preferring consistent. And then I'm passing. I'm subscribing to this topic with these properties of Kafka. This has given me a D stream of uh, records coming from Kafka 
I am not going to do anything specific on this T stream. I am just going to do a, a dot map operation on it and I am going to print it. Then I am going to start my streaming contacts, streaming job and SSE dot await termination. This job will keep on running until unless I kill it from here. Now I would like to see my driver logs. Okay, so whatever messages will come uh, will be shown here. So let us start our uh, Kafka producer and start posting posting messages. Cool. You are seeing messages here. There are a lot of messages that have started to flow in. Cool. So this Kafka producer is posting these messages. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? How is this place? That place is cool. How did you go to that place? And Spark job is reading that messages. And showing it here so in this particular job we were just reading the messages now in next set of videos we'll do more complex tasks like uh, doing state uh, stateful operations or uh, doing word count or uh, we'll slowly add the complexity in our job i hope uh, you like this video you know if you have any questions please post it in the comment section and uh, you know Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.